this is your girl Sharon Elliott with Taste This, Try That. Today I am going to be talking about a restaurant called Wu's House. Now Wu's House is a Japanese restaurant. I went to the one located in Orland Park, Illinois, but they have several different restaurants. And I'm getting hungry just looking at the video. I mean, it's bringing back some the memories of when I was there, and I'm, I am, just I could taste the food just watching <laughs> the video. So the last time I went, and the time before that. Probably the time before that, <laughs> I went for the hibachi. So that's a favorite of mine. And the hibachi is when you sit around a table, usually about six to eight people. Sometimes you know them, sometimes you don't. So if you have your your party and there's six to eight of you all, then you can make a reservation, which I highly recommend. And they'll sit you all together. If not, and you make a reservation, there's only two of you all, you're going to be sitting around with other people. Which is fine. So when you first get there, you place your order. And there are a lot of choices for different meats. You can get the chicken, salmon, uh, steak. They have filet mignon, um, tuna, etc. You can have the rice, you can have the noodles, you can have veggies or all veggies. It's your choice. And, oh, you can have combos. They even have, you can have like chicken and salmon, chicken and um, shrimp, chicken and filet mignon if you want. No, <laughs> just depend on what you want, what you want to pay for. So you order, as you're sitting there waiting for your food, you get little appetizers that come out, uh, like the soup. You get, um, it's like a, I call it a vinaigrette like tray with cucumbers, you know, the, like the raw tray, but it's really good. And then the chef comes out and does his thing, works his magic with the food, and you see all of this food in just the preparation of it is just great, great to see. It's great to see them firing up the grill and just how they prepare it, how they season it, and how they proportion it out <laughs> when they get through, and the tricks along the way. So it's really fun, exciting to see. It's, you know, take a child. Um, it's a little pricey, but not for us, but for a little kid. But it's a good experience for them to see it, um, you know, see the firing up the grill and the big flames that come up when they first get it started. Now, if you have a good chef, they will do some different tricks. So, in this video, make sure you watch the egg trick and make sure you watch the rice trick. So, you know, they kind of entertain you, you know, as you go along. That might help enhance their tip situation. Also, just look at all of the food that they put together. And especially when you, when they cook the vegetables. I mean, just look at the, the broccoli, which is my favorite. The broccoli and mushrooms in there. Carrots. Yeah. And that's a butter. <laughs> I would highly recommend the sauces that they give you. They have an added, they give you an added flavor, an added bonus to your food, especially the yum yum sauce. They have a soy sauce and they have a yum yum sauce. And I can never figure out which one I like best. So I get them both. And sometimes I mix them together, you know. So I'll dip my noodles and my uh, noodles rice and my shrimp and one and then put it in the other or you know it's just it's just so good the flavor is just so oh, 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 so good it makes me want to go back like now like tomorrow so after i finish this video <laughs>
Okay, so in case you missed the egg trick, watch closely because he's going to do it again. Watch closely.
So they're about to move me to another table so I can finish eating and have dessert. Because dessert comes with you can order like ice cream. But I got to get moved to another table for that because they want to get other people in here that's paying for this hibachi table. Hmm. As soon as we get out of here, stop eating. As soon as they get somebody else up in here. I get it. It's like an assembly line here. It's a Saturday. They're busy. Every day here. So, we're gonna have to box my stuff up. I'll just take my plate over there, huh? Box it up. Everybody else is gone but us. I'm a slow eater. They're cleaning the table while I'm sitting here, which I don't like because their fumes stink. That's going down in point. I don't like that. The food is really good though. Now they move us to the dessert area. I have bean ice cream. What's that bean? Red bean. Red bean. I'm sorry. Red bean ice cream. It's actually pretty good. That's what it tastes like. It's fucking good. That's sad. I don't know what that's like. Ended up with some cheesecake because they rushed everybody else out and they left their cheesecake. <laughs> Sorry, they ain't mad at them. They're making their money. They're making their paper. Mm -hmm. vegetables are on point um that's the plus the plus you have a reservation you usually don't have to wait too long to get in there and the chef is pretty good they get in there they do their tricks they cook real quick you know they kind of entertain you a little bit talk to you very little but you know talk to you a little bit depending on the chef and you're done um you know they're they serve the food and you take in all these flavors and just the, the deliciousness and the crunchiness of the vegetables and just it's just really good however what I did not like was how quick they wanted you to move how quick they want you to eat and so they can you know prepare the way to make some more money I ain't mad at them however there's a better way they could have done it, I think. Because they start cleaning as I'm sitting there eating. So I'm smelling the fumes of the cleaning, you know, while I'm still eating. Then someone decides to say, hey, can you come over to this other table so you can finish eating? So I went to another table to finish eating and finish the rest of my meal. Because the dessert portion hadn't even taken place yet. So I didn't like that at all. Um, I just felt brushed, and I, I don't like that. So, it, I mean, I don't know. If if they would have told us that in advance, maybe, that when you finish eating, we're going to move you to another location for you to have dessert, then I would have gotten it. I'd be like, oh, okay, this is normal. You know, this is what they do. But I just didn't like the way that went down. So, my Sharon rating for the last time I went would be a rating of number four.